Alright, hey guys, so if you watched my previous video, then you might know that I got my triple radiator and these RGB rings. So uh, I'm gonna put the ring on this computer and the new copper radiator. I will not install the water cooling yet. I have some parts like the CPU block, but I don't have my tubing and the fluid yet, so I'll have to wait that. But I'm just gonna put on a radiator so it won't be this dual radiator. And my SSD is gonna be gone soon because I'm getting a 960 EVO that will be there. So uh, I can put the radiator on over it now and it will look pretty good. And you also have these lights here. And if this is the front side, so if I look from the front, from when I walk into the kitchen, you can see the light shining. And with the radiator, that will be blocked. I will take apart the radiator to install the water cooling and to wrap the sides. So I'm gonna wrap these sides in like carbon. And uh, it doesn't matter for temperatures. First of all, my processor doesn't even need water cooling. Even if I get a water better one, I'm not somebody that nitpicks over 200 megahertz or something. I'd rather have it look good than to perform 10 times faster than I need it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the sides and the air will be pushed to the fins that are in the radiator, not to the side of the radiator, so I don't care. I'm gonna put the carbon wrap around it like here also and stuff so you don't see it, but uh, yeah, that will be another video. So uh, first I'm gonna unbox these rings, so let's do that. So you know what they say, if you like it, you should put a ring on it. I like this computer, so I'm gonna put these rings on them. And that joke is already too overused. So I've heard that, uh, yeah, I need to figure out where I mount this controller. I will mount it somewhere you don't see it, but where it will be useful. I did get all the screws. I heard some people didn't. And the fans are actually sleeved. That's cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is <laughs> rip off these stickers because they're awful. And I'm going to mount these dragon stickers and I have one here too. So I'm going to put that on. And then these will look much better. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint them green or not yet. I will leave them stock for now. I might eventually paint them green. I might even do painting two of them green and leaving one black or the opposite, like two blacks and then one green in the center to match this one. But uh, I'm not sure about that yet. I will see how it looks first. I might even carbon wrap the sides if that's possible. I think it is, but... Uh, I'll see what I do. I'll always find something stupid to do, but uh, for now, let's just install them. And I had the manual in my hand all the time. But uh, now I'm gonna unpack the radiator because I'm really curious how that one looks. So I'll put this to the side. And I, I don't like how they do this. They always put like 360 degrees tape on it. It's awful. Oh, that was not that bad. <laughs> it's a box in the box. Yeah, and I could make this box in the box joke, but uh, yeah, fuck that. I think I just did actually. It comes with all the screws, that is pretty cool. I'm amazed what people deliver. Like, I got the CPU block and it was so cheap, but they put thermal paste, all the brackets, all the screws, everything inside there. It's amazing. This packaging is actually pretty cool, like the box. And yeah, you can see that. I'm gonna move the camera a little more. Yeah, so... Uh... Oh, that looks cool. It's very thin and I was expecting that. That's cool. I'm gonna leave these red knobs on there for now. Oh yeah, that looks... Look at that. It's so thin. It's really thin. It's much thinner than the one I have on and it looks really cool. I don't see any bad fins, so they, they they are controlled too. There's a branding on it, it's from FreezeMod. So what I found is that the screws that come with the rings are longer than the ones that come with the radiator themselves, but these don't look too good, plus they're bad quality. They, um, what is it called when this gets broken, but it doesn't matter. So what I did was with my core, they came a lot of these and I had only used four leaving me with 12 which is exactly the amount I would need so I mounted this one with the black screws with the spacer under there so uh, that actually works and then I don't screw into the radiator so that's something I can do and I'll mount them free and then I'll replace the stickers but uh, yeah I use those spacers and that works pretty good so all the fans are mounted on the radiator 
I'm gonna remove the old radiator from there and place the stickers over, so yeah. Alright, so I replaced those R for Thermotake stickers with these MSI Dragon stickers. This one is smaller, I didn't have three times. This is 33mm and these are pretty good and this one is like 28 so I need to get a new one but overall it doesn't really matter if they're spinning, they all look good so... Yeah, I'm gonna mount that, I will replace this one eventually but uh, for now that will be good. So let's mount the radiator and see how it looks because I haven't even thrown these on. I'm gonna be honest because because that's the point of this video series if these eBay and AliExpress stuff is actually decent. The radiator doesn't look too bad but the screws are god awful. They really are. They uh, strip really easy, the threads are garbage. I'll replace these but for now I have it mounted. The thing is um, I have not seen how it looks right now. So I have not yet turned around the core, so I'll do that. I'll put the camera down and turn this around. And then we'll see how it looks. Not bad. Alright, so the cables are not done yet. And uh, it's too black, so I might event really do some green fan, but I'm not sure. I'll decide it later. I will have to, uh, like, this is what I mean. I'll wrap this, I'll wrap that, and this, and yeah, that should look good. Now I'm gonna do the cable management and reinstall some stuff, and that should look good, so be right back. So the cables are pretty well hidden. The cable from this one goes behind the USB one. The same goes for this one. And this one is actually under here, going inside there. There's a small gap that I leave open because the pump and the radiator will be... No, not the radiator. The pump and the reservoir will be mounted on the plate here. And this will be for the wiring and you won't be able to see it. So uh, that's pretty well hidden. So you barely... You actually can't really see any cables. Except where the cables already are for the motherboard with the SATA connector. So... Uh, not to say that the USB, so that's pretty good looking, so I'll keep it like that. Yeah, this is too uh, lime yellow. It's pretty cool green though. This looks uh, okay, actually. Um, I did not know that. I thought all the LEDs are RGB, so uh, you would have like 12 green, but it's only these two, and that's not what I like. That's really not what I like, honestly. But uh, let me think, I think the controller is here, yeah, so. Yeah, that's shitty, I didn't know that only two LEDs were there, I thought there's much more. I'm not a huge fan of that. Also then I have this fan flipped around, because these are all like this and this one not, and that sucks too. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I think I keep it on this green. But uh, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty dope, but um, yeah. This might, yeah, this maybe gives me more reason to paint the fans green. As you can see, there's some like light leakage because it's only two LEDs. But it looks pretty decent. It's not the best, not as good as I expected, but whatever. So that's the triple radio. Uh, yeah, and you can see this is the exactly the reason why I want to wrap it because that looks shit. So I have the computer back where it belongs, and I'm gonna throw it on. And this is the green I settled with. It's uh, the yellow green that I like. It fits with the video card and the rest, of course. So it's looking really solid. I'm still waiting for a couple of things, but yeah. I'm I what I did was like I said it only has two LEDs, so I made it like this zigzag line. You can see it goes like that. That's what I did with the LEDs. <laughs> it's the best thing I could do in my opinion. And that also enabled me to get rid of all the cables in visible high, so that's really nice. And from the side, that's actually pretty cool from the side, you can see it light up too. And I really don't like the gap here, so I'll get rid of that once I got my water cooling. But yeah, my core is pretty green. 
Looks pretty good. I still don't know. Maybe I'll make the middle one green, but I'm not sure. I'll, I'll need to figure something out what looks good. Yeah, so what I have left is the water cooling. Two ram banks, painting them green, moving the video card back, sleeving the cables, and I still haven't received my sleeving. This one is the only one I sleeved, and this one looks garbage. And uh, yeah, getting more carbon wrap. My 960 EVO installation video, because I just got it, there's sneak peek. Yeah, that was enough. <laughs> Wrapping this and figuring something out for the fan. This fan is the loudest noise of this whole computer and it's annoying. Listen. That's from the fan. Now listen here. You're probably still hearing the fan from the cooling on that. There's nothing there. That's really annoying. I don't get why the power supply... And they say that this one is PVM controlled. So it should be toggling up and down. But it's pretty loud. I don't get it. It's a pretty expensive power supply. It's not the world, but it's pretty expensive. So, I don't know. Even the CPU fan is completely silent. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, it's looking really solid. That's how I did it. And uh, I just finished also my new dual screen setup, so that's pretty dope too. So yeah, that's my core now. Thanks for watching. And be sure to watch out for more videos while well, upgraded further and further till it's done. One more side view and then I'm out. Bye.